All right. Um, if you just finished watching How to Paint Yellow, um, this is the continuation for How to Paint the Emperor's Canaries. I'm going to be using Blazing Orange right now to um, do all of the orange spots on my models. If you take a look at one that's already painted here, um, a few accents just to add some, some break up some of the spots in the model. And uh, I used to use a second orange for a highlight um, like I did with the Sunburst Yellow in the last video. But since then, Games Workshop has discontinued that color, so I'm going to just do a little bit better job shading with just the white and the one orange. Okay, so what I've done here, I've painted this top piece on his helmet orange. Um, typically on the back of my Emperor's Canaries, if you take a look at this one here, this is a normal tactical marine. Um, those back parts of his backpack are black on this one, and they're orange. Um, I've decided that that's one way I'm going to show rank on them. Uh, for sergeants and veterans, there's going to be one row of orange ones. Um, this is my commander, so he's going to have two rows. Both of them are going to be orange. Um, I also did that to add some orange to that side of it, since the spot on the backpack that is usually orange does not appear on this model. So, um, Also, his elbow guards. Um, on all my space marines, I've, I always paint those a, a different color. Um, cause it kind of bugs me with most of the games workshop chapter color schemes how um, how many how much long spaces there are of one color with nothing breaking them up. So I like to break up the color with um, the the secondary color for the, as often as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and do the white now really quick, just dry brushing the edges. All right. Now you may not quite be able to notice it, but um, I've done the edging now. Um, it kind of almost looks like there might just be a little light reflecting off of the corners and the edges. That's actually the white paint. That's kind of the effect you want to go for. Um, make it look like there's light hitting it and shining off even when there's not. Um, right now I'm going to do um, his front cloth here and the back cloth. I'm going to do those in white. So I'm going to go through really quick with Codex Gray, a dry brushing of Fortress Gray, and then white on top of that followed by a thin black ink. Okay, I've painted um, his front and back um, cloth here with Codex Gray. If you notice, I also painted the ropes, the tassels, and the purity seals in the Codex Gray. Um, that's because those are all going to be red. Um, also, I'm going to paint the plasma gun, this plasma pistol with uh, Codex Gray. Um, I'll get into greater detail on that in my How to Paint Red um, video, but for now, just know that those are going to be gray for the moment. Okay, so I've added the dry brush of Fortress Gray. And the, the important thing to note with cloth, um, what I found is that you want to, I just get a little bit of paint on there and I quickly and firmly just brush all the way across it. You want to go across the folds, not with them. Um, otherwise, the deep areas won't remain dark. I also did a quick dry brush over the the ropes, the tassels, the purity seals, and the plasma pistol. Now for the white, you want your brush to be damp, but not a whole ton of paint on it, so that it'll put a really thin layer over it, so that you can still keep, remain the shading, but while painting almost all of it a white color. So, so you can still see, I can kind of see how you can, you can see through the white. Okay, so I've done um, quite a few layers of that dry brushing white here and um, on the back cloak. Um, what you're going to want to do now is get your brush, get it fairly wet. I'm going to take uh, some of this black ink here and, uh, okay. So once you got um, a good amount of, uh, black ink on here. Um, you're going to kind of just put it on there. It's going to look, um, it's going to probably make you worry, think maybe there's too much on there, but just go ahead and put it on anyway in the cracks here. Um, just paint it over basically the entire model, keeping it nice and wet. And then we're going to quickly just dab it with a paper towel. Okay, well, 
I just realized when I started painting that that um, some of the white wasn't quite dry yet. So I um, repainted the white and I'm going to wait for that to dry. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start painting the plasma pistol. If you can notice, there's um, a few different layers of there's codex gray, black in the crevices, and um, it's a fortress gray dry brushed over it. And um, that's going to allow the red to cover a lot better. So I'm going to paint all of the red things right now while I'm waiting for that white to dry. Alright, I've done a quick coat of red gore over um, the rope, the purity seals, his plasma pistol, um, this rope here in the back, and the lenses on his eye. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just do the uh, highlighting dry brush with the blood red and then the white like I've been with the other colors. Okay, so I finished um, the red. I ended up going with... Uh, the red gore over the gray, and then I did um, blood orange or blood red and blazing orange, and then white. So I've got all the red on this thing done. Um, just waiting for some colors to dry, and I'm going to move on. Um, one thing I'd like to mention about this model in particular that I really like um, this is the Commander model that you can buy for $15. Um, you can actually see it right there. On one side of his plasma pistol, it says Ferio. Um, on the other side, it says Excutio. Um, and I thought that was really cool. They actually put that on there. It's really well done for how small it is. But um, Ferio means uh, um, to smite or to hit or to strike. Um, Excutio. Uh, is a word that means well, it means a few things. Uh, it means to banish or cast out. So it's kind of like saying uh, um, to smite and cast out, like the the heresy or the demons and that, which I thought was really cool. Okay, so this is kind of what you want the uh, the white to look like here when you're putting on that black ink. Um, you can kind of see it's it's still wet. It's still very wet. I just put it on. Um, I leave it there for just a few minutes letting it get in the cracks and before it's completely dry um, then I'll dab it with a paper towel lightly and then I'll dry brush just a thin coat of white on the top of it. Okay now while we're waiting for the uh, the ink and everything to completely dry because you want to make sure it's very very completely dry before you dry brush over that um, you're going to want to we're going to uh, do some silver and some gold on some things and then we're going to try to highlight that. Alright, all I'm going to do now is do some touch-ups. I'm going to paint the blue, um, the regal blue in the eyes with a white dot on them and I'm going to I'm going to uh, paint the black on it. The black mostly is the outline for the shoulder pads and inside the joints on the arms and legs. Um, after that, all I really have left to do is the axe. Okay, so this is uh, my Space Marine Captain. Um, basically done. I have a few small details to do that I'm not going to get to yet. Um, see his axe, um, kind of black fading to blue and then white. Um, just did dry rushing, different colors for that just like it happened on the whole model. Um, the only thing I might change, I haven't decided yet if I want to change the color of the cloth. Um, if I do, I don't know what I'm going to change it to. Probably either red or blue, I haven't decided, but... Um, yep, and I just did um, some space plus gray on the bottom, and he's basically ready to go. And those are the paints that I used for this guy. Alright, very quickly. I'm just going to go into a little bit of detail about the origins of the Emperor's Canaries, both in fluff and in real life. Um, they initially started, my friend and I started a, just for fun, like a Warhammer based band doing rock, metal, some country type spoofs. And um, we were called the Emperor's Canaries, we were like the songbirds of the Empire. And um, after a while that merged into... When we finally just started to start making models for them and actually make an army for them and choosing colors, um, that's when we decided that um, we needed some actual fluff for them um, outside of just the songbirds of the Empire. So we decided that what they are is they're the secret force of the Emperor. 
that he would send into potentially dangerous situations to see if it was safe enough for the rest for someone else to go there for other space marines or for pure guard or colonists um, so they're kind of like the canaries in the mine shafts where um, they just kind of throw them in and uh, if we came out alive then it was safe for everyone else um, so they're kind of getting used by the emperor to he just throws them in dangerous situations like to investigate the tyranids and um, kind of see how dangerous of a threat it is by how many of them die, but they don't really realize that he's doing it because they're so fervent in their in their beliefs in the emperor. And uh, so it's just kind of a really fun, hilarious army. Um, just that's just a quick, brief history of the emperor's canary. So um, keep watching. I think the next one I'm going to put some decals on my um, on my commander here and show you how to do some water slide decals then.